The first way we're going to divide polynomials is using long division. So similar to what we did above in example one, let's divide these. So if I'm dividing this polynomial by this one, this one's going to go on the outside. And then this one will go uh, underneath. All right, so I'm going to do this first one in different colors to kind of help us understand what's happening. First thing I want to do is divide the first term by the first term here. So I have 2x cubed divided by x squared. 2 divided by 1 is 2, and 2 cubed divided by x squared, when you divide exponents, you subtract. So 3 minus 1 or three minus two is one. So I personally like to line up all of my stuff. So I'm gonna put two X above the X and I'll distribute. So I'm gonna do two X times X squared, which is two X cubed. That needs to line up and needs to go under my X cubed right here. We have two X cubed. Now I'm going to do 2x times x, which is 2x squared. That needs to go under my x squared column. And then 2x times 1 is 2x that needs to go under my x column. Okay. So I want to pause right there for a second and make sure we understand what we just kind of did. When I divide, all I'm doing is dividing this first one. So I did 2x cubed divided by x squared to get 2x. That went above my x. And then when I multiply, now I need to distribute that back to everything. So I'm only dividing with the first one, but I'm multiplying by all of them. Okay, now... The biggest mistake that's going to happen when we use long division is this next step when we subtract. If I only put a minus right here, the only thing we're actually subtracting is just this first term. But what I need to do is subtract the entire term. So I'm going to put all of this in parentheses. So I have 2x cubed minus 2x cubed that cancels. That first term should always cancel. Here's where we make mistakes and we'll just say this is 3 plus 2 but I'm subtracting. So this is 3 minus 2 to give me 1x squared or x squared. These do not cancel because this is negative 2 minus 2 to give me negative 4x. Then drop down your next one and do it again. So now I am going to divide the first term here with the first term here. X squared over X squared is one. So it's gonna go right here above that. And now distribute. One times X squared is X squared that needs to go under its like term. 1 times x is x that needs to go under my x. And then lastly, we'll have 1 times 1 to give me 1. Now, I need to make sure that I am subtracting everything. So we're going to put that in parentheses and now subtract. x squared minus x squared cancels. How many x's will I have here? It is negative 5. Here. You have negative 4 minus 1 for negative 5x. And then 1 minus 1, that actually cancels as well there. So this is my only remainder. So I need to make sure I write it in this form here. We're going to put our quotient, which is 2x plus 1. 
plus my remainder, negative 5x, all over the divisor. Okay, rewind that if you need to rewatch it. I'm not going to use the different colors from now on. I'm not going to use the arrows from now on. And the next two do get slightly, not a lot, but slightly a little bit more complicated. So rewatch this one if you need to before we move on to harder ones. Okay, now to part B. I am dividing this polynomial by this one. This one's gonna go on the outside. So I have 3x squared plus one. And then this one needs to go on the inside. Now kind of notice it goes x to the fourth, x cubed, x squared. So that's all good. I am not missing any, it goes four, three, two, but I'm missing my one. So I'm going to put a 0x placeholder, and I'm missing my constant of 0. These aren't necessary since the zeros are at the end, but it does help and make everything go a lot smoother if you add those in there. So here we go. We're going to take the first term, 15x to the fourth, divided by the first term here, 3x squared. So 15 divided by 3 is 5, and x to the 4th over x squared is x squared. I'm going to put that above my x squared here. Now on the top, that's just a preference. We have to line these up on the bottom. So now when I distribute, 5x squared times 3x squared is 15x to the 4th. That needs to go under my x to the 4th. Now, 5x squared times 1 is 5x squared. So don't put that here under your x cubed because those are not like terms. I'm going to put it under my x squared. Okay, now we are going to subtract. And we will subtract the entire thing. So 15 minus 15 cancels out. I have 15 minus nothing, so this will come down. And then how many x squareds will I have here? Okay, it is not seven, we're subtracting. Two minus five gives me negative three x squared. Bring down the next one. Rinse and repeat. So first one here divided by the first one here. 15 divided by 3 is 5. x cubed divided by x is x. I'm going to put that above my x here. Top is a preference. We have to line them up down here. 5x times 3x squared is 15x cubed. 5x times 1 is 5x. So do not put it under the x squared. It needs to go under the x. We will subtract the entire thing here. 15 minus 15 cancels out. I have negative 3x squared minus nothing, so that will just come down. And then how many x's will we have here? That is 0 minus 5, so negative 5x. And then last one here. First term divided by first term is going to be negative 1. And now distribute. We will get negative 3x squared minus 1. Put that under the constant. And then subtract it off. 
negative three plus three cancels. Bring down your minus five X. And then we have zero minus a negative one, which will turn that to a plus one. Okay, we're kind of bleeding into this one here, but that's okay. My answer is the quotient. plus the remainder over the divisor. So negative five X plus one all over three X squared plus one. Okay. Now on this one, we had to put placeholders for the end. And this is just to make it easier. We didn't really need to do this but we do need to do it when it skips place values within that. So here, and because I went a little bit too much in there, I'm going to kind of just start fresh right here with this page. Okay. We'll have our X plus four on the outside. And then this will go on the inside, but put zeros as placeholders. I have X to the fourth. The next one should be X cubed and I don't have an X cubed. So plus zero X cubed. X squared comes next and I do have that. So minus 12 X squared. Next should be your X. I don't have one. So we need another placeholder. And then my constant minus 66. You have to have these here or you will get this problem wrong. So here we go. First term divided by first term. We get X cubed. I'm going to put that above my X cubed and I'll multiply that back. X cubed times X is X to the fourth. And X cubed times four is four X cubed. I am going to subtract all of that. X to the fourth minus X to the fourth cancels. Zero minus four is a negative four X cubed. Bring down the next one and keep going. First term divided by first term is gonna give me negative four X squared. Multiply that back. Negative four X squared times X is negative four X cubed. Four X squared times four is a negative 16 X squared. Subtract that. Negative four plus four cancels. How many X squareds? will we have? What will be my coefficient here? It is four. We've got negative 12 plus 16 for a four X squared. Bring down your zero X. Go again. I'm dividing the first term here by the first term here. And we get four X. Distribute this to both of these. So 4x times x is 4x squared. 4x times 4 is 16x. We're going to subtract all of that. Four minus four cancels. How many x's will we have right here? That is not positive 16, it should be negative. We've got zero minus 16 for a negative 16 X. And then one more time, bring down that negative 66 and continue on, continuing on. First term divided by first term. Gonna be negative 16. 
multiply it. Negative 16 times x is negative 16x. And negative 16 times 4 is negative 64. Negative 16 plus 16 cancels. What is my remainder here? Should be negative 2. Negative 66 plus 64. Okay, so we're going to write this as my quotient x cubed minus 4x squared plus 4x minus 16 quotient plus my remainder negative 2 over my divisor. Negative 2 over my divisor. 